Unless you are Amish or a Mennonite, you are probably acquainted with CFLs or compact fluorescent bulbs by now, or some people call them squiggly bulbs as depicted here. And while there is a lot of positive and negative press about these bulbs, we want to consider whether or not these bulbs pay for themselves. After all, there is quite a cost difference given that an industrial light bulb can cost $2, while an industrial efficient bulb can cost $9. To do a fair analysis, we have to consider a whole building, so let's count 1,000 of each bulb. And we're looking at a commercial building, but any savings depicted would also correspond to that in your home. Please keep in mind these are ballpark rates, and the price will change from time to time, and no doubt get lower in the future. But, conservatively speaking, for this analysis, we'll use $9,000 for the efficient bulbs and $2,000 for the incandescents. So let's do the math and see if these things pay for themselves. We'll keep it simple. Let's look at the standard pencil and paper method. Say we have an older office building in Chicago that's 40,000 square feet and has 1,000 light bulbs that need replacing. And to keep it simple, Let's assume each light bulb is 60 watts, the office is occupied 250 days per year, and each light is on for about 10.2 hours per day. If electricity costs 10 cents per kilowatt hour, the math is not too difficult. We start with the incandescent bulbs. 1,000 light bulbs times 60 watts per bulb times 1 kilowatt per 1,000 watts times 10.2 hours per day times 250 days per year times 10 cents per kilowatt hour equals a whopping $15,300 in cost for the electricity of the light bulbs. If we redo the math using the efficient bulbs, everything's the same except for the efficient bulbs use 14 watts per bulb. We'll fast forward the math. We have 1,000 light bulbs times 14 watts per bulb times 1 kilowatt divided by 1,000 watts times 10.2 hours per day times 250 days per year times 10 cents per kilowatt hour equals $3,570. If we take the difference between these two numbers, we get the dollar saved in the first year. And, drumroll please, we save a whopping $11,730 the first year per the pencil and paper method. So, according to the standard math, even though the cost is about $7,000 more, the light bulbs pay for themselves in the first year. But guess what? The pen and paper method is actually BS because your light bulbs affect more than what meets the eye. Let's look at this example. So, we start with a light bulb in a room. Of course, the light bulb doesn't do anything until we turn it on and boom, we get light. But what also happens is the light bulb produces heat. With more heat, the cooling fans have to run more. You can see this here, but in your house and most buildings, this happens behind the scenes. And since there is more heat, the air conditioning needs to run harder. There is really no way that you can calculate this by hand, but with the power of computers, we can do a building simulation, or what we call an energy model. This is essentially putting the building into the computer and letting it simulate one year to calculate your energy bills each month. It's kind of like virtual reality. Here we ran a very basic energy model that took about 15 minutes to run from start to finish and the results are very interesting. One of the interesting things that we found was that per a common criticism from folks against efficient bulbs, we found that we did in fact use more heating in the model using the efficient light bulbs. The difference was $1,300, but along the same line of thinking, you have to consider that the efficient lighting lowers the air conditioning bill, which it did in this case by $3,600, easily offsetting the increase in heat. Plus, we saved $1,700 on the net total fan energy. Not to mention, the $11,700 saved on the lights. So even after accounting for the loss in heating, we find that we save $15,700 in the energy model when we count all the bits and pieces. This shows an additional 
25% savings than what's actually advertised for the bulbs. And this is considering that we are in Chicago. In a warmer climate, the additional bonus savings, you could call it, would be actually greater. And let's not forget that efficient bulbs last a lot longer than incandescent bulbs. And this can be encapsulated in a life cycle analysis which would show a lot more savings, but we didn't need to do that here because we've already shown that in the battle of the bulbs, the efficient bulbs are the undisputed champions.